So right now we are walking the Mount Storm King hike. Uh, it's a trail and we have to start going towards Mary Mary Falls and then we're gonna make a left. And from what I've read, this part of this trail is extremely deceiving because it's flat and easy. And I think it's about to get real. So we'll see how this goes. We'll keep you along for every step of the way. And if we fail, well, I guess you'll see that too. <laughs> Let's go. So far, we have gone a little over two miles and we're 12,000 feet up and um, we're about a little over an hour into this thing. Let's move. So we made it to the top of the maintain trail. Brittany and I are feeling a little weak. We lost Heath a little bit lower down, around 1,600 feet. I think we're right around 18 or 19, huh? We're at 1728. 1728. So um, this is about the end of the trip for us and it's absolutely gorgeous. The view so far has been worth it. We've seen some absolutely beautiful sights and we've met some really awesome people. Everyone that has been on this trail has been extremely encouraging. I think I like Washington and I like this hike and I don't know, I feel like these are just some really great people here. It's been really awesome to, to be able to talk to some people along this trail. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what we brought on this hike. I am wearing Hurricane Tevas with Bomba socks. They worked super well the whole way up here. I had absolutely no problems. Brittany has some super cool hiking shoes that I'll show you. Um, Heath has some hiking shoes and Colin is also wearing Tevas with Bombas. And um, I'm in like this zip up fleece jacket and it's only half zip. And um, I use it for golf mostly. It worked pretty well. I rolled up the sleeves. I'm normally a cold person, so I think that worked really well. And I'm in some Fabletics leggings. Brittany is in some leggings and a cute tee. And then her little hiking shoes that are adorbs. I'm going to zoom in. How do, you, how do your clothes feel? Actually, they feel great. Um, I do suggest maybe wearing a shorter sleeve shirt if you're a warmer person. And then wearing like a light jacket with it so you can take your jacket off. All right, so we got down Mount Storm King, and I'd say that down was a lot easier than up, a lot less painful, but a little scarier, if that's the right way to say that, more scary. Um, I'd say it was worth the climb and we had a good time. We didn't know that we picked the most difficult hike in Washington, uh, <laughs> but overall, I think it was really fun and we had a good time and we're gonna try some easier hikes now. Um, so if you're not an avid hiker, just prepare. It was a lot. But uh, now we're gonna take a left and go see Mary Mare Falls.
So we just finished our Mount Storm King and Mary Muir Falls hike. Um, we did a little over six miles and we were here for about five hours, but we did stop at the top of the mountain and have a little picnic and some snacks. And it was really nice with the good view and everything to just sit and enjoy for a while. And uh, yeah, I would say that today was a really awesome day. On our way out, we stopped at Crescent Lake and actually like dipped our feet in and we are convinced that we're coming back. So maybe that'll happen. They have a place here where you can rent like paddle boards and kayaks and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, now you understand the difficulty and about how long it takes. So, so tomorrow we are going to the La Push beaches and we're gonna do all of those hikes and stuff, which I'm really excited about because I saw all of it in the Twilight movies and um, I'd like to see it in real life. So we have had a fairly rough morning. We drove all the way to Cape Flattery, which was like an hour or two or something like that. And it was closed. The Machu, Maku uh, reservation was closed. So then we turned around and we headed to Forks to go to La Push Beach. But the La Push Beaches one and two are closed because the Quillette reservation is also closed. We came because we knew we wanted to see the Lapush beaches. We've heard so much about them. Also, Twilight was filmed on Second Beach, so we wanted to see that. But I will tell you that um, everything out here looks exactly like the movies, like the, the greenness and how mossy it is and all that. So we had a good breakfast, and um, we're going to take this hike to Third Beach because this one's open. So here we go. <laughs> so we're near the end of our one and a half mile hike down to third beach from where we parked the car and i can hear the ocean i'm so excited and i'm trying to walk and watch the ground because if you know me, I'm very clumsy. I think I almost bit it maybe two or three times on the way down. But compared to yesterday's Mount Storm King hike, this is like the easiest thing I've ever done. That Mount Storm King hike yesterday was a doozy. So if you're coming this way and you're doing all of these hikes, just know that this one is significantly easier. And um, let me show you what we just walked up on. Almost there. Right now, we are on La Push Beach, the third beach, the only one that was accessible, and it is absolutely breathtaking. I can't imagine second and first beach being any prettier than this. I mean, I've obviously never been, but this was good. I'm really excited that we're here and we're having a good time, and I actually got to step in a freshwater stream at the same time as the saltwater ocean, and that was so cool because I've never done that before. So. Anyway, if you come to Third Beach, you can do that. And yeah, we're just gonna walk over here to these rock formations and um, it's just a really beautiful day. And I'm really glad we got to come to the beach after everything went so crazy and we couldn't find a way and all the reservations were closed because of COVID. I don't mean reservations like, let me make a reservation for dinner. I mean like actual Native American reservations. So um, yeah, I'll show you what these rock formations look like. They look really cool.
guys, right now we are at Lake Crescent Lodge, which is on Lake Crescent, obviously. Um, we were here hiking Mount Storm King the other day and Colin saw people on paddle boards and he was like, oh my God, I want to paddle board here. So we came here at 7 a.m. and signed up for paddle boards and um, it was freezing when we got here. It's a little bit better now. Uh, the water feels good, everything's good. I'm wearing Colin's jacket because I am a cold nitty 90% of the time. Um, but I got out there in a the jacket and it was absolutely beautiful and wonderful and Colin and Heath and Brenda are out there, no jackets, so I think it's probably just me. Um, I've never paddle boarded before and I thought it was gonna be really, really difficult. Granted, I did not stand up and I do not plan to stand up. <laughs> so sitting works just fine, Colin was like, a whiz out there. He always is though. He's like a fish in water even if it's on a paddle board. Um, so yeah, it's supposed to be a really beautiful day today and we've got five hours on these paddle boards. So if you were to come out here to Lake Crescent and rent a kayak, canoe, or paddle board from Crescent Lake Lodge or Lake Crescent Lodge, um, it would be 45 for five hours and 60 for eight hours. Uh, we were gonna do the eight, but we literally just have to be other places today, so we're not doing that. So we stayed in an Airbnb nearby, but they have lodging here and it looks really nice. So if you wanted to come out here and stay, I think I would highly recommend that just based off of what we're seeing right now. I mean, the view alone is worth it, so. <laughs> Right now we are at the George Washington Inn right outside of Port Angeles, Washington. Obviously Washington, Washington. Uh, they have a lavender farm. Uh, right here they have about eight rows. They have two coming in, a couple going that way. So there's a decent amount of lavender and they have like a little store and everything. And we came closer to dusk so that we would get that nice golden hour sun. And um, it smells absolutely amazing. It took me a second to figure out how to actually pick the lavender. Um, this is a pretty cool stop. Brittany and I were really excited about this one because we wanted to get some cool pictures. And if that is what you want to do, this is the place. So keep that in mind. So right now we are about to go eat at Downriggers in Port Angeles. Last night we actually ate a Coco Pelli, which was absolutely delicious. And everyone that we heard from said that Coco Pelli was good and we've heard equally good things about Downriggers. So we're gonna do that right now. So far Port Angeles has been amazing. It's a cute little town and we're having a great time. And we're starving because we just left that lavender field and we did some like paddle boarding today and we have worked up an appetite. So. You guys ready? Let's go. 
So right outside the window where we're sitting is Canada. It's pretty cool. That we're this close to Canada and it sucks that we are not allowed in. Canada, please let us Americans in. We want to visit and spend our money. We just finished our dinner at Downrigger, and if I have to be honest, I do not suggest that you go there. So the food was subpar, and the service was good, and the view is good, but you go to a restaurant for the food. So I would suggest not going there. Uh, Coco Pelli, though, where we ate the other night, was absolutely fantastic, and we loved it very, very much. I recommend that 100,000 times over. So I will put a link down to Coco Pelli in the description. That way you know exactly where it is because we didn't vomit because we just wanted to enjoy our dinner. Um, it just happened to be the wrong dinner to not film. So that's all for Port Angeles. We go back to Seattle tomorrow and uh, we're really excited about that. We're gonna do some fun touristy things. And uh, I really enjoyed Port Angeles and I'm glad that we stayed out here because it was absolutely breathtaking the whole way. So yeah, that's a wrap. If you like this video, make sure that you hit that like button. We would greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. It means so much to our channel and we need every subscriber that we can get. Um, plus ring the bell for notifications and you'll get to see our Seattle trip that's coming up. Also, this whole 16 day journey had a beginning and those videos are uploaded already in this playlist. So make sure that you check out the rest of those videos because those are awesome and they have some beautiful sights and um, we want to take you on our journeys with us. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.